Hi guys, welcome to our daily encounter. In Exodus chapter 12, you have a lot of focus on leaven and the need to abstain from leaven. In verses 14 through 20, you have Moses describing the day of, uh, I'm sorry, the feast of unleavened bread, uh, which would begin on the day that the Passover lamb was slain. And it would continue for seven days. And for uh, all those days, they were not supposed to have any leaven in their house. They weren't supposed to eat any leaven. And they're supposed to completely refrain from leaven. And he says it time and time again to emphasize no leaven during those seven days. And as we think about it, we might uh, begin to wonder, you know, why is this leaven such a big deal? And why is he emphasizing it so much? Well, as we turn to the New Testament, we begin to see the full significance of the Passover and also the Feast of Unleavened Bread. And this is given to us by the Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 5. And there uh, he states, starting in verse 6, he says, Your boasting is not good. Do you not know that a little leaven leavens the whole lump of dough? Clean out the old leaven so that you may be a new lump, just as you are, in fact, unleavened. For Christ, our Passover, also has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us celebrate the feast, not with old leaven, nor with the leaven of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. So there Paul gives us the full uh, significance of the unleavened bread, as in connection to the Passover. And he specifically says that Christ is our Passover, we are unleavened bread, and we are to remain unleavened bread. So as you think about it, in connection to the Christian experience, the same time that we accepted Christ as our sacrifice was the same day that the Feast of Unleavened Bread began. That is, the day that we accepted Christ is the day in which we became unleavened and we are to uh, purge out the leaven and continually live without the leaven. That is, the leaven of malice and wickedness. We, in other words, we are to live a pure life in connection to the sacrifice of Christ. We have been purified, we have been sanctified through the Passover lamb, through Jesus Christ. And now the call is for us to live a life of holiness and purity before him. And the number seven, the fact that this feast of unleavened bread lasted for seven days, that symbolizes complete completeness. That means for our complete journey as Christians, we are to live a life of unleavened bread and to be unleavened bread, to not get caught up in malice and wickedness, not getting involved in, in a life of sin and rebellion against God, but to remain pure before the Lord and, and to maintain a, a righteous life before the Lord. It begins on a day of rest. When we come to Christ and we accept him as our sacrifice, uh, we just rest in him. We realize that we can't come to God on our own merit and we can't live a perfect life and therefore achieve any place before God, but we have to trust in Christ. And so he becomes our Sabbath rest, our day of rest, as we accept him by the sacrifice. But as the days continue, as we continue to uh, live in connection to this Passover lamb, and we continue to live this these days of uh, unleavened bread, as it were, the last day is a day of rest as well. And there is a day of rest waiting for the people of God. The book of Hebrews talks about this. Uh, there's a day in which we will no longer labor anymore, but we'll lay down our labors and we'll be able to have eternal rest before God, uh, dwelling in his direct presence, enjoying uh, the fruits of our labor from here on this earth and enjoying uh, the full rich supply of Christ for eternity. But in between the first day when we accept Christ and the last day when we enter into the rest, we are called to live a life of unleavened bread, to be unleavened bread before the Lord. And so each and every day we should wake up with that in the forefront of our minds. Today, I want to live a holy, li a holy uh, life before the Lord. I want to abstain from sin and rebellion and anything that would uh, that would uh cause me to not be pure before God, that would serve as leaven, that would uh, leaven the whole lump of dough and and cause, my, uh, cause me not to be pure in the sight of God. And as we take each day in and of itself, 
uh, and focus each day on trying to live a holy life before the Lord, soon enough we will enter into our rest. Soon enough our days will be completed and then we'll be able to enjoy the blessings that the Lord has prepared for us. So here we are. Our lives are the Feast of Unleavened Bread. And let's honor it as that. Let's live it out as that and give honor and glory to God. And with that, guys, I do thank you for watching the video today. I hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. God bless.